tells us that Kaiser plays in defense, right hand. Mappelink is the blocker for the Dutch duo, another right-handed player. This could be one of the tightest matches of the women's competition so far, with Madeline Mepelink. Service error on the opening play of the first set. Easy point on the board for Canada. Let's have a close-up look at Humana Paredes. Melissa Humana Paredes. She's just five foot nine, but what she lacks in height, she will certainly make up with an amazing vertical leap and one of the most dynamic defensive players on the women's tour. Service error from Canada. Sonic Kaiser with the service to Kumana Paredes, who now attacks for Canada. Good strike of the ball from the Canadian. Two to one, side out for Canada. Seventy kilometers per hour, the spike speed from the Canadian there. That's just over forty-three miles per hour. Mepplink. Well, good call from Humana Paredes, telling her partner Pavan to take the strike on the second contact. I don't think the Dutch were expecting it back so quickly. Certainly in the right position, but unable to contain the ball. Kaiser lets that one slip off. Already an early break for Canada. Pavan with the serve once again. Service error. Oh, and uh, frustrating for both teams with their serves right now. That's an easy point back for Canada and this rally point scoring rule of beach volleyball, whether you're serving or receiving. If you put the ball down on the sand of your opponent's court, you will take the point. Mepelink sets up Kaiser. Kaiser cuts the ball across, little kiss on the top of the tape. A little help from the net. And the point goes to the Netherlands. Seven points, total score on the board. So we switch sides. The reason for that at 7, 14 and 21 and so on throughout the scoring is so that there is no advantage from either end of the court, whether it be the wind direction, sunlight. But I have to say, the Red Bull Beach Arena and the centre court is such a perfect venue for beach volleyball. Right down the middle is the play from Humana Paredes. Canada keep their break at 5-3. to three. Pavan with that uh, familiar jump float. Right down the line, a very strong and accurate strike from Madeline Mepelink. Played uh, much of her volleyball on the FIVB World Tour with Van Ersel. Marlene Van Ersel, still in the tournament herself with her new partner. Head-to-head -head results have these two teams at one and one. Point for Netherlands there to tie the scores. Uh, they met in the last World Tour event prior to these championships in Hamburg. It was in Warsaw in Poland, a four-star World Tour event where Canada beat the uh, Dutch two sets to zero. But go back a little further to the uh, Vienna Major of last season. And uh, Kaiser and Mepelink beat the Canadians two sets to zero. So one on one on the head to head matchups. Makes this a uh, little bit of a crunch match for both. Good cover from Humana Paredes. Up she goes. Beautiful play from the Canadian over the top of the block of uh, Madeline Mepelink. Oh, 
Oh, service ace. Beautiful. Melissa Humana Paredes. First service ace of the match. After both teams struggling with their serve in the early points. Nepalik. Up goes Mepelink. Now, Pavan will be just a little frustrated that she's not got her block working just yet. Sana Kaiser serves. Imana Paradis moves across to take it. Gets that lovely little cut on the ball. Three points clear, Canada, at nine to six. No question that the lady scoring this point, Melissa Humana Paradis, is having the best of the play in the first half of this opening set. Here's a partner, Sarah Pavan. Pavan. Oh, that was well, well left. I thought that ball was going to kiss the line at one point. Just a little too long on the service for Sarah Pavan. They've taken the decision by now to let it go. It's dropping. It's dropping. Quite a way out. Nepal link for Holland. Oh, and Kaiser puts a hand on that. Ball could have been going out of play. It's another super placement of the ball from Humana Perales. Melissa with the serve. Mepalinchi targets. Mepalink blocked by Pavan. Kaiser. Oh, good play by the Netherlands. Digging deep. Under a lot of pressure from Canada. Not giving up the Dutch. It's been the story of their pool play to reach this round of 16. There's the height of Sarah Pavan paying dividends. Six foot five, or one meter 96. And definitely that height advantage helps Pavan. Up she goes, little pokey over the top. See how she claws those, that hand, pulls those fingers in. Oh, that's a little bit of luck on this serve. Now, was that ball in or not? We may well see a challenge if the referee calls it out. Referee calls it out. And Mapplelink calls the challenge. Ball in or ball out. Each team is allowed two challenges per set, challenging the referee's decision, of course. We'll go to the Hawkeye system. Now, that ball is good, and what a good challenge from the Dutch. Very good. And that's a much healthier scoreline for the ladies in blue and white. 9 to 11. We'll take a tech timeout after this point. Canada will look for the side out here to take that advantage into part two of this opening set. Nice back set from Pavan. And Humana Paredes puts that ball down. So the halfway point of the opener. Canada have the advantage at 12 points to nine. Three clear. Well, both of these teams seeded in the top 10, eight and nine. But it's Canada that have the experience at world championship level as a team. Humana Paradis to the left of your screen, just to the right is Sarah Pavan. They were fourth in the world championships in Vienna, Austria, uh, two years ago. Been in this situation before. 
victory here today will take them into the quarterfinals. An impressive silver medal in the uh, Itapima four-star event, a good build-up. Now, the European champions, there's a new team, their first world championships. But they have been impressive. They beat the American number 15 seeds, uh, Kelly Larson and Emily Stockman yesterday to earn their spot in this round of 16. Looks like Meppelink is working the hardest, burning 111 kcals and 18 jumps. The Dutch blocker. Oh, and that's another big point. Straight out of the timeout. 13 to 9 for Canada. It was long gone. Same target on the serve. But uh, that's a good play from uh, Sana Kaiser. Good shot between the line and the blocker. Here she is with service. Good aggressive play from uh, both Kaiser and Meppelink, who puts the ball away. First block almost there, but that one arm stab at the ball just keeps it up. And once Meppelink gets that perfect set from her partner, smashes that ball down to the baseline of the Canadian court. And scoring on service takes the Dutch within two of Canada. Humana Paradis on the attack, cross court, good cover from Sana Kaiser. Pavan's block is there, but not to the sand. Great shot from the Canadian Melissa Humana Paradis. Keeping their cool, Canada, as the Dutch try to find a little more momentum. Certainly a lot more power in their play right now. Here's Sarah Pavan with serve. It looks like Kaiser will be the target of most of the Canadian serve. Trying to keep uh, Meppelink out of the match. Fantastic up, but unable to get the ball over the net on the third contact. Contact side <laughs> Kaiser. That takes Canada four clear at 15 11. <laughs> Melissa Kumana Parada is maybe the smallest player on court, but right now she is the busiest. And I think the Dutch have seen enough. They've called their timeout, a 30 second break. Four out of the last six points going to Canada. Each team can stop play at any point in the match once per set. Stops the play for 30 seconds. Often used as a tactical play to try and stop the momentum of the opposing team. Almost try and break the concentration. And uh, the Dutch here, hoping to stop the flow of Canada, who are looking the more confident and the more solid of the two teams out on court now. This is an important side out for the Netherlands, who received third from Sarah Pavan. Again, it's to Kaiser. Beautiful shot from Kaiser, certainly justifying the call of that timeout. It works to the advantage of the Dutch, narrowing the Canadian lead to three. Meppelink to serve. Serves cross court to Humana Paredes. Flag stays down from the linesman. It's a service ace.
Beautiful serve from Meppelink. Couldn't come at a more important time in this opening set. Can she give us another? Well, there was no way that Humana Paredes was going to risk leaving that one. I think there was a call from Pavan saying no, meaning that the ball was going out of play, but Melissa was not going to take the gamble. And she finishes off the shot and takes the point for Canada to go with that superb serve receive. This time targeting Meppel, linked with the serve Canada. Another fine shot from Melissa Humana Paradis. Here's Melissa. Humana Paradis, a little bit of a fumble on the serve receive. Well, that's uh, uncharacteristic. Sarah Pavan very rarely lets those go. But Meppelink going right between the two arms of the Canadian blocker. She'd done all the work, found the position, got the timing. But the power of the play gives the Netherlands the point, and there's another. Service ace, poor call. Pavan left that on the call of her partner, Humana Paradis. Canada challenge here. And they were very close to it. And Canada called the ball out. It's at a crucial point of the opening set. You can see why Canada have called. But you know what? I think they're going to win it. That ball does not touch the blue tape at all. The ball was out, and that is a world-class call. And why the challenge system has become such an important and integral part of the beach game. Canada lead 18 to 14. They hold on to their two challenges. A very quick side out, side out and bounce back from the Dutch. Good strike from Meppelink, right to the centre of the Canadian court. And that point just about keeps the Netherlands in this opening set. Canada looking to maintain their side-out game. They leave that one and it's way out of play, 19 to 50. We're heading to 21 as the final scoreline, but the team must be two points clear. <laughs> Melissa Humana Paradis. Oh, a little bit of confusion between the two Dutch players, but well played by uh, Sonic Heiser there for Holland. What was looking like a bit of a nightmare is a good recovery. Pavan on the attack for Canada. Good cover from Kaiser. Again, great defense from both teams. Oh, and she's put too much cut on that ball. Looking for a little too much angle there, Humana Paradis. The ball goes out of play. Big point for the Dutch. And with Holland collecting two very quick points in succession, Canada called their timeout. Canada stopped the play for 30 seconds. As the North Americans uh, reassess their game plan here, because uh, the European champions from the Netherlands coming back with uh, a good point run. We're right down in the business end of this opening set. Canada still have the lead by two, but the momentum definitely with the Netherlands.
Sonic Kaiser. 34 year old from The Hague. Jump float to Humana Paradis. Set from Pavan. Here she goes. This time she gets the cut and the weight on the ball perfectly. Set point for Canada at 20 to 17. That's what she was hoping to do on the previous shot. Here we go, Pavan, jump float to Meppelink. Meppelink on the attack. Pavan still to get that block working. Second set point for Canada. North Americans just need to side out here to wrap up this opener. Pavan moves across to take the ball. Pavan now on the attack. Down the line. And it works. 21 to 18. Set one goes to Canada's Sarah Pavan and Melissa Humana Paradez. It's a close opening set, as you'd expect, from the number nine seeds of Canada going up against the eight seeds from the Netherlands. But the pressure on the Dutch duo now. They have to win this second set to stay in the match and take this clash to a third set tiebreak. Match stats show two aces for both teams. Well, they're not even counting the one block I had there for Pavan, not counted as an official stuff block. And that's where Canada can raise their game. Other than that, the stats clearly show how tight this match is. Shouldn't take too much for the Dutch to win this second set and take it to three. But it's the experience of Pavan and Melissa Humana Paradis that, for me, may well give this match to Canada at 2-0. European champions need to dig deep now against Canada's best. Right on the line. Sana Kaiser with the first attacking play of the second set. Meppelink with the serve. Meppelink gets the block. And that's the main stat and one of the key areas of the game that seemed to be missing. I'm not sure whether she actually touched that or not, or whether Commander Paradis hit that into the net. Good play by Holland. Great shot from Meppelink. Coming out into the early exchanges of this second set. Really firing on all cylinders here. Holland putting down three very quick points. Meppelink again with the service. Targeting Humana Paradis, who now attacks for Canada. Cross court. Looks a little too long. But the referee. Referee. Satomi from Japan, high up on the stand, looking down on that line. And the slow-mo will confirm, oh, it's a little touch, as well as the ball kissing the tape. So a touch from Sana Kaiser gives Canada its first point. Pavan with the serve for Canada. That's way too long. Easy point back for the Dutch. one Kaiser maintaining the Dutch tactic of targeting Humana Paredes with their service trying to keep Pavan out of this match and Sonic Kaiser with a very good strike of the ball there lovely cross-court spike from the Dutch defender full clear 
Nice shot from Zero Pavan over on the second contact. Seven points on the board, quick side switch. We'll switch again at 14, 21, and 28 if it goes that far. Kumana Paredes serves Mepolink, who now attacks. Well, Sarah Pavan just leaving an open court there. Pavan needs to get that block working. Holland four clear of Canada in this second set. Five clear of Canada in this second set. Canada have seen enough, they've called their timeout. Nepalink service has been impressive. Canada use up their timeout call early on in this second set. With the aim of trying to get back into the match. The Netherlands five points clear. Here's Mepolik, whose service has been most effective. Umana Paradis up on the attack. Kaiser sets up Mepolik once again. Oh, she just gets a little under that ball and off balance as she struck it. Certainly justifies the call of the timeout for Canada. A valuable side out for the North Americans. Pavan serves Mepolink. Mepolink up and on the attack. Pavan has the block there. But it's good cover from Sonic Kaiser. Second time. Lovely shot from Kaiser. And a little look at the court before she struck the ball. Left it till the last minute. Good block from Pavan here. But this is the shot. Good court vision. From the 34-year-old Dutch player. She likes it, she's happy. And Holland maintain their five-point advantage. Umana Paredes. Powers that ball to the body of Mepelink as the Dutch blocker tries to fall off the net. Moving back into the middle of the court to take the attack. Service ace from Humana Paradas, just when Canada needed it as well. Both the Dutch players look at each other, leave the ball, and it just drops like a stone to kiss the baseline. Kaiser over the top of the block, and almost there with the flipper to keep the ball up. Side switch with 14 on the scoreboard, but still a four-point lead for the Netherlands. Mepelink to serve for the Dutch. Oh, look at that. Melissa Humano Paradis switching positions with Sarah Pavan. Melissa finds herself up at the net. It's good cover, a good fall off the net from Mepelink, but look at that from Humana Paradis. 
Wide smile on her face after that point. Pavan serves for Canada. Great shot. Loving the communication between uh, Humana Parades and Sarah Pavan. She could also be almost be doing the commentary for us. So much communication, almost instruction from the Canadian number one. Well, Canada right back into the match. Now the Dutch have seen enough and uh, they call their timeout. It means it will be a feisty closeout to this second set as uh, both teams have used up their one and only timeout per set. Good comeback from Canada. Look at that. Five points of the last six going Canada's way. Three back-to-back. -back. Taking all of the pace out of the impressive start from the Netherlands. The Dutch looking for a side out here to stop Canada tying the scores. Look at Mepelink, 339k cows, covering more of the court than any other player. That's information from the RTBS system. Unlucky. Almost there with the block. But that important side out for the Netherlands goes their way. Pavan sets up Humana Paradis. Lovely cut on the ball. A real deceiving shot. Both the Dutch players think that they're going to get a spike at them. Nepali goes up for the block, but it's a very sharp angle that she finds on the ball. Canada continue to put pressure on the Netherlands. They've already won the first set, 21 to 18. Meppelink now on the attack. Good cover. And a, over on two from Pavan is effective once again. Scores are all tied. 10 all. One more point to be contested before we take the technical timeout. The official halfway point break in the set. Umana Parades, deep serve to Meppelink. Meppelink now on the attack. Oh, and the block's there when just when Canada needed it. Great block from Pavan. Canada take the lead for the first time in this second set. At the technical time, at 11 points to 10. Beautiful stuff block from the Canadian. To be honest, we'd like to have seen a few more of those. But maybe this is the start of more to come.
11-10 to Canada in this second set, having wrapped up the first, 21-18. The Netherlands must win this second set to stay in the match and take us to a third set tie-break. And here's Meppelink on the attack for the Dutch. Goes cross-court, short, ties the scores at 11-all. The winner of this match heads to the quarter-finals in this Women's World Championship competition. It's a tough one for the loser. They'll be heading home. Madeleine Meppelink. Hits that ball way too hard and long. Easy point back on the board for Canada, 12 to 11. Canada, who were fourth in the World Championships in Vienna back in 2017. Have the experience, they've been here before. And there is that experience coming to the fore. 13 to 11 for Canada as Sarah Pavan gets her second major block of the match. Here's Pavan with service. Maple Link is the target. Block number three. Well, we said after the first set that we were a little disappointed to see the block stats at zero on zero. The Dutch have found one, but this is a third very impressive block. Tallest player on the court, one of the tallest women in this World Championship event. And Sarah Pavan finally gets it into the blocking groove. And he's putting points on the board very quickly for Canada. Now 14 to 11. Good shot from Kaiser, going over the top. A very important side out for the Dutch. Still keeping Canada within range. Little confusion on who's taking the ball from Canada. Pavan was tempted to go over on two. But Humana Paredes screams for the ball back. That ball is out of play, off the fingers of the block of Sarah Pavan, meaning it's a point for the... Kaiser with the service. Here's Humana Paredes on the attack for Canada. Oh, that's tough now for the Dutch. Oh, what a great recovery. Meppelink ties the scores at 14 all. This is the beauty of the sport of beach volleyball. Just when you think Canada is starting to take control, a quick three-point run from the Dutch, and it's all tied up once again. And their hopes of staying in this match are firmly alive. Kaiser with the service to Humana Paredes. Paredes on the attack. Yeah! Melissa Humana Paredes has had a fabulous match. She's been the target of just about all of the Dutch serves. More than her fair share of points on the board. 15 to 14. Here she is with the serve for Canada. Nepalink now on the attack. Almost an identical shot, but in the opposite direction. 15 all. Now the pressure's on. Maple Link. Another point for the Dutch. Good play from Sonic Heiser this time. First time that we've seen Kumana Parades just struggle a little on the serve receive. Pavan here, full stretch to keep the ball up. But she's out of position. She arrives at the net to block very late. And that gives the ball to the Netherlands. Mappelink with serve. Oh, she's left it. 
Humana Parades has done that three times now in this match. Convinced the ball is going out. And the accuracy is pinpoint from Metal Link. If any part of that ball touches the blue line, it's counted as in. Now a break from the Dutch at 17 to 15, turning the second set around. That is a real frustration for the Canadians. Easy point given to the Netherlands at 18 to 16. Kaiser. Oh, another A serve. Pavan was not expecting that. Great service play from the Netherlands. Three aces in the last five points. That's a very impressive stat. And it looks like we're heading to a third set tiebreak. Pavan this time gets under the ball and scores the point. Fascinating to see whether Canada can save this one now and take the match, or the Dutch have done enough to stay in it. 17 to 19, Melissa Kumana Parades with serve. Kaiser. Back set from her partner, cross-court, ball is out of play. There's another one back for Canada, 18-19. Side out needed for Holland to try to get to set points. Canada here looking to level the scores. Good service to Kaiser from Humana Parades. Good cover on the line, can she finish? Meppelink sets her partner. And again. Pavan loses out at the net. Set point for the Netherlands. And set point for the Netherlands with the hope of taking this to a third set. There it is. Canada win the first 21 to 18, but the Netherlands come back and take the second 18 to 21, which takes us into the third set tie break. The score line or the score target is 15 rather than 21. Second referee, David Crescentini, will toss the coin to see who. Which side in to serve or receive? Take a look at the match stats. Aces now an impressive statistic for the Netherlands at six to three. And the blocks, Sarah Pavan has got four now to zero from the Dutch. Side switch at every five points. There is no timeout. Technical timeout, that is. And we're heading to 15 points. It's a bit of a sprint. Important to start well in a third set tie break. Pavan with the set. First point for Canada. Melissa Humana Parades all over the court. 
There's the first save. And here's the kill. Here she is with service. Nepalink is the target of the serve. Perfect start for Canada, 2-0. Looking to make it to the quarterfinals for the second successive World Championships as a team, Pavan and Humana Paredes. Lovely weight and timing on the shot. Nepalink at full stretch. Drops that ball short with the cut on it. Hollander on the scoreboard. After a strong early start from Canada. Let's not forget that the Dutch have recorded six service aces. So even if it looks like it's going out of play, I think Melissa Humana Paredes is going to have to go for it anyway. Good strike of the ball from the Canadian once again. 67 kilometers per hour. Just over 40 mph miles per hour on the ball. Pavan with the jump float. Again, it's to Meppelink. Over the top of the block, but the cover is there. Sarah Pavan out of position, not sure whether she's blocking at the net or dropping off. She's already put four blocks down, Pavan. Maybe she should just stay at the net. Kaiser with the service to Pavan. Good shot from Sarah Pavan. So effective with that left hand, particularly from that side, getting the acute angle that she was looking for. Break advantage, returns kind of, oh, there's confusion between the two Dutch players, both of them going for the ball. 30 second break. Five to two, but we're heading to 15, not 21 in this third set tie break. jumps of Sarah Pavan, 80 jumps. Her uh, op opponent, Meppelink, blocker for the Netherlands, 81. But Meppelink's KCAL burn rate higher than any other player on the court at 510. A serve from Humana Paredes. Certainly puts pay to the call of the timeout from the Dutch. That is a beautiful strike of the ball. And now a healthy four-point lead for Canada in this third set tie-break. Another good serve. Second contact over the net from Sane Kaiser. Not sure she had much choice here. Right to the X of the court. Nepalink serves at Humana Paradis, who now attacks back. It's a good side out for Canada, holding that four point lead. Total of 10 points on the board. So again, the teams uh, switch sides on court. Red Bull Beach are just pumping here. Haven. Jump float to Meppelink. Meppelink now attacks. Yes. 
over the top of the block. Canada just three ahead. Sane Kaiser with the serve for Holland. Well, uh, Melissa Humana Paradis has been the star of the show, hasn't she, so far? She's done very little wrong. This time, off the block of Maple Link. Back to that four point lead, Canada. That's a good serve received from Maple Link. Great defense from Humana Paradis. Oh, and not sure whether Pavan needed to make that play. She apologizes to her partner. She had all the time in the world to actually set that rather than just go for what was a rather wild overhead shot, blind as well. All the time in the world to set it. Meppelink serves, out of play, lucky for Canada. Meppelink has put down five aces. Pavan, this time to Kaiser with her service. Good shot from Sana Kaiser. Both the Canadian players going the wrong there. Lovely fake at the net. Perfect on the serve receive. Meppelink up on her feet. She was going to take it at one point. Need to score on their serve now, the Netherlands. And that could be the point that turns the tables Canada's way. 10 to 6. Pokey shot there from uh, Sonic Kaiser. Very creative, quite exciting, but not the type of gamble you want to take when you're five behind Canada. Humana Paradis now continues her service to Meppel Link. There's the set. Should have gone cross court there. Easy for us to say in the country bonds, isn't it? Madeline Meppeling serves Humana Parades. Here she comes on the attack for Canada. She's going the same way. Another. Well, she gets her own way. The Dutch are on that side. She clearly likes to go. Haven to serve for Canada. Just need to keep their momentum now, Canada, to close this out. It's a good shot. Very good shot indeed, under a lot of pressure. Total of 20 points on the scoreboard. Another side switch. That turn of the hand as she strikes the ball taking cross-court rather than at the block. Kaiser serves Pavan. Pavan on the attack for Canada. Over the top of the Meppelink block. 13 to 8. Two points away from the quarter-finals now, Canada. Mappelink. Oh, and that's great cover from Humana Paradis. 
Perfect shot from Sonic Kaiser of Holland. Down the line, right on the line. Big score back for the Dutch. Side out here for Canada, will take them to match point. Pavan sets her partner, cross court. Meppelink just about holds on. Kaiser, she puts the ball out of play. 14 points to nine means match point for Canada. Pavan with the service. Over on two, easily covered by Humana Parades. And the lady of the match takes the final point, 15 to nine. Canada beat the Netherlands, two sets to one. The Dutch playing exceptionally well, taking it to a third set tie break. But Canada head to the quarterfinals and the Netherlands are out of the chase for the 2019 World Championship gold.